using my own microphone. Because for the last 40 years, I've been using my voice almost every day. Next year, I'll clock 40 years as a preacher and minister of the gospel in this city. And, and it goes without saying that I've lost my voice. John and the entire family all friends, fellow ministers, all protocol observed. I would like to agree in a small way with John Bunjo that we have to filter through the many words that have been spoken here already and really get a glimpse of what heaven is saying to us at this stage. I agree that these days are very bad days. Scripture actually calls them evil days. And when things like this happen, the sons of Issachar would come together and know what the church needs to know or what Israel needed to know. But not only that, they would also tell Israel what to do. Scripture says on this day, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, after Paul gives a discourse on what happens when Jesus comes and takes the church off the planet in a rapture, it says, encourage each other with these words. So I come here to encourage you. And I'm a Bible student, so I'm going to read some scriptures. I've noted that many people do not read scriptures. And there is no encouragement outside scripture. How do you talk to John Melinda now and, then, uh, and encourage him? Except give him words words that have made him what he is. This hill, this mountain was not here. It comes out of what God spoke to him. So the source of those words that have made John Melinda the prophet he is, the man of God he is, and this place, and all of you becoming part of his life and all of us, are the same words that I want to share in a nutshell, in, in very quick words. Now, there is a study in the Bible called Thanatology. It is a study of death, dying, and how people cope with death. Thanatology, T-H-A-N-A-L-O-G-Y. The study of death, dying, and how to cope with death. Now, John the Baptist died at 34. Jesus died at the age of 33. It is believed that Stephen died at the age of 37. But our patriarch Abraham died at 175. It's a big shift from 30, 30 to 175. Our father, grand, grand, 
great-grandfather in the faith died at 175. And people are now dying at the age of 20, 30, 40. We need to quickly get into a study and know what is happening before us. I hear Gideon was 29. Now, Moses was very clever in writing about Abraham. Of course he had from God. Moses says in, Gen in Genesis 25 verse 8 and 9 that Abraham breathed his lust and died in a good old age an old man and full of years listen to the next words and he was gathered to his people and his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah three words for you to take home Died, died gathered and buried we all know about the dying we all know about the burying and we've heard that the burial has been postponed to another day but there is another word in the middle there that we normally don't take note of. It's called gathering. Every one of us living on earth, we expect to die and even to be buried and to some even you, you, you signify where you'll be buried but there is a different word that in the middle there the, the bible is calling it gathered it's a very good interpreter now Abraham was gathered Ishmael was gathered. Genesis 25:17. Isaac was gathered. Genesis 35:29. Verse 29. Jacob died. He was also gathered. Genesis 49 verse 33. Aaron died. And he was gathered. Why does God persistently, consistently use the word gathering? Aaron was gathered. Numbers 2024. 20, Moses was told, you will not go to the promised land, but you will be gathered together with your brethren. Numbers 27 verse 13. There is a whole generation, Judges 2.10, which was gathered to the fathers. We also hear David losing a very young child and speaking confidently and saying, he cannot come back here to me. I will be the one that goes to him. When you hear the going to him, you know that David is talking about his death. The inner meaning of that word is also, he is also saying, I'll be part of that gathering where my son has gone. Remember when we call churches to come together. Let me give you some idea here, quickly, two ideas. 
When we come together today, this is a gathering but it is a prophetic gathering of the heaven we are about to occupy that all of you come from different areas, different languages, different structures, different people will one day gather and be in that gathering. Let me quickly sum it up and leave the, the podium. And I would beg your excuse that when I, leave, when I finish here, I'll go because one of my elders has also lost a child and the funeral is, the, uh, the, the service will be done without me, but the burial will be at 4 p.m. It will be at 4 p.m. So I will catch it. It's in Kasana. Listen to this. In Luke chapter 16, we read of two people who died. The first one is Lazarus. He was poor. And he died. And the Bible says, when he died, the angels took him and put him in Abraham's bosom. There was also a rich man in that same village. In that story, he also dies. And he was buried. When he came to his senses, when he woke up as it were, he woke up in hell. Two people from the same village, they share the story, they even share a life together. One used to beg for food from the other. The rich man's dogs used to lick on the wounds of the poor one. When the poor one died, he was gathered and put into Abraham's bosom. But when the rich man died, he was buried and he ended up in hell. I would like to now say that this gathering is the difference between the saints and the non-believers. When you die as a believer, you are gathered to take you to your hope, your expectation, your faith, and your future. The gathering is that separating thing that allows you to go to your place which you've been working for. When you die, you're taken to the bosom of your forefather Abraham, and others are taken to the place which they've been working for. That is why the Bible says with the first scripture that I quoted. Paul is saying, Brethren, I don't want you to be ignorant concerning those that have fallen asleep. That you may not cry as those who have no hope. Because our Lord he, he is going to descend from heaven with the voice and a, 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 the trumpet of the archangel they that died in the Lord will resurrect first and they will be gathered up 
but waribwe and they will be taken nemu kukunganya wano but in a midst of the gathering nafa abalamu abali kunsi even as we are still living on earth tugenda kwega tanabo we are going to join them tugende tubere ne mukama wa we may go and live with the lord forever eyo ye gathering jenjo gera kunsi that is the gathering i'm talking about oruva nyuma lwe bigambi bwe chamba kati kati ebyo bye bisobola okubagumia and after those words he said may you be strengthened by those words now these are the words if Jesus comes right now because now not many of us love to die he can come right now not many of us love to die he can come right now he can come right now he can come right now he tears the heavens the first people come to the senses before even we get a chance to rise up are these Gideons are these Gideons are these the pain that was not they are the ones who first rise up to rise up and 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 even ne us, we are transformed this transformation is the gathering this is the distinction between us and others that is why he says the lord shall bring like that all the believers together with him do you see the difference the bible speaks in revelation blessed are they they that have a past in the past resurrection why there is the second resurrection the lord is gathering the people of the past resurrection and then he takes them away and then they enjoy 1000 years in paradise and then he comes and when we were being trained they told us Jesus said there is good wheat and there is wild wheat and the disciples said who did this it is the enemy who did this may we uproot it and he said no you must confuse the you must you might also approve the good wheat what should we do mulinde amakungula wait for the harvest season when the harvest comes okusinzira kubibara ebivude mu ngane eno depending on the fruits from this wheat it shall be easily understood ono chuchu you will know the this is the this is the true wheat so engano bajaji kunganya so the good wheat will be approved ne chuchu yeka and even the Chuchu akocha engane agenda wayo wabere wagamba amina mve wano amen yesu we yafa after jesus is dead matthew 27:50 matayo abiri mu musanga ka bible yegamba nti abatukirivu batambula mu kibuga yerusalemu the bible says the saints walked in the streets of jerusalem nabo naba ali bafudde ne bazukira and all those that had died resurrected abo ye first fruit yokufa ko nokuzukira kwe that is the first fruit of his abo yagenda nabo he went along with them and even at this moment the Lord is gathering and I believe that they that have departed they have a chance to be a chance to be a chance to be a chance and me my heart is strengthened on this word Blessed are those who die in the Lord. Why? Because their works they go along with them and then they may have the share in the first resurrection I believe in the word called gathering Abraham wherever he is others are not there where others are is not where others are Gathering comes in gathering if you're such a believer encourage yourself wait for the lord because the gathering goes, is going to join us this is what i believe
Nti Gideon. That Gideon. Tabalala. Together with others. Batuluma kubanga mubiri. We are hurt because they, they were in the flesh. Tulaba bingi bebali koze. There are a lot they might have achieved. Na ye yesu emiaka satu mwe satu laba cheyakora. But look at what Jesus did for part of three years only. Gideon ya lese chibina wanu cha 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 ya buri debi gambebi ye buziva. Gideon has left such a congregation he told deeper words. Fetu nyueze kristo. May we stay strengthened in Jesus. Orunakuru jakuvalumu. And it shall be one day. Bible gati alisa angula. Buliziga. The Bible says he shall wipe every tear. Again, the Oruna kuwoku sangura maziga. Badi tiba ba sangura maziga. Badi mugeyena. Beba sangura maziga. Beba fe. The ones who are, whose tears are wiped are us. Fe tulina maziga agatari kazi kiza. We, ha, we have tears that are uncontrollable. Bunge abada yogera nga yogera chiri chaba na abana be tulina kati. Beba where bo gere biga mbasi tu biuli rangana ko. Pastor John, Pastor Bunjo was saying that the children we have to speak words that are unusual. Ah, banana, 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 ba, ba Joshua, ba Gideon, Emil, Igam, Ogera, Mukabwenze, Ebimu, Mbuza, Tibano. Baba, Deba, Uri, Jesus, Tepuza, Baranga, Festuman, Kwa, Tuba, Uri, Tenjiri, Yonani, Tuliyanga, Bajima, Zeyo. Nebo, Ogera, Yere, Vira, Ganti, Boba, Dina, Mumure, Mbe, Mura, La, Tepani, Mumure, Mbe, Kwa, Fe. They speak words that signify them that they are in a different generation. Kati, Webata, Andi, Kato, Kukenda. When they begin to depart. Echo, Chire, Eta, Mazika. That brings to Na yetu gume, mukama friend, wafa jakutu sangura, amaziga kano getu kama. The Lord shall wipe the tears that we cry. Brother John, Brother John, tuku sabira. We are praying for you. Era tumani chino chichitegeza. And we know what this means. Ne tumani tumani kuku katono kwe kati. But we only understand a little. Katono nyio. It's just a little. Ata chivanga mu. The, the one to whom it has never happened to, you cannot comprehend it. The one who has experienced it was knows everything. For the sake of people who have trusted you all these years. You must be strong. If you speak that there is nothing that is impossible. There is no problem you can go through and fail to overcome. People shall give you audience if you are strong right now. I want to thank the ministers of Christ who are long here. John. Thank you for coming to strengthen Pastor John. Amen. Amen. means a whole lot to me. Seeing you, Murazi, nti John, You've shown that Apostle John is your friend. John, yono na musumba kakasea. Katono tono. I pastored Pastor John for some time. But there's something And I used to tell you, you're, you're being transitioned from here, you're going somewhere else. I found the Lord that the transit I saw concerning you, you've moved in it. I encourage you to stand up, please. Please stand up. I request you now. For a whole minute, we're going to give praise to God for, for Gideon Mulinde. Put everything down. You need your hands free. We're going to give the Lord a thunderous. Thank you, Lord. A hallelujah and a clapping for a complete minute. In fact, it will be two minutes. I am the timekeeper. So that we give praise to God for what this young man has already done and has left done. Like Jesus, to change your world. You don't need the, the entire century on your side. You don't need a hundred years to change your world. So let us give the Lord praise in Jesus' name for two minutes. Come on.
One more minute to go. One more minute. A noisy one. A shout one. Let the heavens hear that we are thankful to God for what he's done. to thank you thank you for the life of this young man if anyone had spoken to Mary and said your son has died but a revolution has started she wouldn't have believed she would never have believed it but because Jesus rose again and his power was released on earth we now pray that you will release the same anointing over the young generation release them into that which nobody can stop let a revival begin from this mountain and permeate the entire planet let it reach the ends of the earth we speak breakthrough right now we wipe all our tears in joy we refuse to use the word loss we speak newness and freshness in the name of Jesus we are encouraged that there is a gathering of saints and if the saints are being gathered we pledge to be ready when our time comes and so that the name of Jesus may be glorified In Jesus' mighty name. Is there anybody here who has never given their life to Jesus Christ? Let me see your hand. I would like to pray with you. Even if it is just one person. I will pray with you and you'll be marked in that book of life and the name of Jesus will be more glorified let me see your hand one person if you are near somebody that is trying to raise up their hands please let me know everybody here is saved I have never seen it Oh, there is one there. No. Okay, listen. Everyone here is born again. Can you imagine we are a gathering of saints? Let's give the Lord praise.